when did you start seeing him uh, developing uh, like a passion for for the acting? Well, the first movie he did, he was still in high school. I saw an audition uh, uh, posted for a movie called Clown House, and he went down and uh, auditioned, and he got a part in. Mist of dark, though the flesh is young and the hearts are strong, precious life cannot be long. It was a big part. He played the older of three brothers, and it was kind of a, a scary movie where these clowns are terrorizing these kids. And uh, he was really good at it. He, uh, he, I've seen him a couple of times on stage, and I was impressed with how. Um, how good he was, even at 16, 17 years old. Um, I think when he did his first movie, Clown House, he was 18. He was a senior in high school. And he took about six weeks off from school to do the movie. Uh, and I thought that was great. I thought that was fine because I thought he'd learn a lot from doing the movie, which I'm sure he did. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, probably learned more doing the movie than he would have learned it if he'd gone to school for that six weeks. <laughs> Clown House, now available on video cassette. The school that he went to for high school was called School of the Arts, and they had an acting program at the school, and he had to audition uh, to get into that program. Uh, so he would have been about eighth grade, uh, freshman in high school age when he did that. And I encouraged him to do that because he seemed interested in it, and it seemed like something he might be able to, to do well. I actually had his, uh, his acting teacher from that school uh, came up to me after uh, uh, we saw a play that they did. And uh, I was very impressed with Sam in the play. And, and the teacher said to me, took, kind of took me aside and said, you know, your son could make money at this. <laughs> and I was impressed by, by that because I know acting teachers don't tell that to parents very often. You know, he, <laughs> I thought it was just me that, that was uh, thinking that, but the teacher seemed to have the same thought, you know, that Sam had, had real talent. What would you say it's uh, Sam's best uh, skills at, at acting? I would say three things that he's able to do. He's able to be unafraid to make a fool of himself. All right, the sassy lasso. Very, very good. All right, sassy lasso. Now, what, now we don't know what this dance is yet, but so we're I'm about make to find out. out. You're going to make it up right, right great, now. Great. <laughs> Not too many people have that kind of, that precise kind of um, courage. Um, and it's very helpful if you're an actor. And he's able to behave in a realistic way when he's acting. And he's also able to transform the way he sounds and the way he looks. And I think those three things are, are the main things that an actor needs. <sighs> Well, I read the script for this movie uh, three or more years ago. And by the time I, I Sam sometimes lets me read scripts because uh, he knows I like to read them. Um, and sometimes if he, he hasn't uh, gotten to it yet or if he's, he's unsure about his thoughts about it, he'll, he'll ask me what I thought of a movie. But he already had read a, a three billboards by the time he showed it to me, and he'd already said he'd do it. I, I read the script, and I thought this is a great part for, especially a great part for Sam. His character went from being this kind of, um, kind of a nerd, kind of a wimpy guy. Um, who, who, who would like to be a hero, uh, but is just kind of a, a wimp. The, your first impression of him in, this, in the script is of this kind of the opposite of a hero, yeah. not really a hero. 
And by the end of the movie, he he's a, he's you see he's a, a a a lot more than you initially thought. We've had two official complaints about those billboards. From who? It's a lady with a funny eye. A lady with a funny fucking eye? And a fat dentist. He's kind of like a, 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 a kid at the beginning, and he's become a man by the end. Yeah. And he's learned a lot. He's, I, I, I've seen a lot of uh, stuff on the internet about the movie, and they complain that his character uh, doesn't earn... The, the redemption that he gets by the end. But I, I disagree with that because I it, it seems to me that not only was he badly burned, a uh, whole half side of his face is completely disfigured. Yeah. Woody Harrelson's character, who was like a father figure to him, has not only died suddenly, but actually committed suicide in kind of a horrible way. Um, he's lost his job. Sam's character has lost his job as a cop, and uh, his whole life has kind of fallen apart. And it seems to me that that's plenty of incentive for a person to change their life if, if they have a mind to do so. Yeah. And I thought the the whole movie was extremely realistic and believable. And at the same time, it was like it was poetic. It's hard to to know how Martin McDonough pulled that off, but it uh, it's a very impressive movie. Yeah. And I think it's the best movie and the best part that Sam has ever done. And the Oscar goes to Sam Rockwell, three billboards outside.